In this video we will position these modular cabinets and resize them according to the available space. Cabinet resizing can be done in a project whereas some cabinet features runs via the single cabinet mode. Polyboard easily allows a transition between the project mode and cabinet mode and back. In this project the room is already in place and a set of predefined modular cabinets are imported into the project. We need to position these inside the room. The available open space is equal to the total width of the cabinets so we are going to position them all together. Select all cabinets and use a right click. Select group selection. They are now set as one item and you can move them to position with click and drag. Once in position, right click to select move selection. In the move column, set the Z value to 100mm and click OK. This will position the cabinets at 100mm above the floor in order to position the plinth later on. Now we will have to resize some cabinets individually. Do a right click and select ungroup selection. Change the view to a front view. Select the two top cabinets on the right side by holding the control button pressed and change their height to 1100mm. The cabinets will be resized to fit properly in the available space. Now select the remaining top cabinets and resize them to 950mm to fit into the space. Select all lower cabinets and the floor. Right click and select create a filler. In the pop-up window, select the proper positioning with the arrows. The result can be seen in the preview window. Click OK when done to position the plinth. The top left cabinet needs to be corrected to comply with the slope of the ceiling. On the exported DXF front view, we measured the needed references to do so. Back to polyboard, double click on the cabinet to transit to the single cabinet mode. Use the multiple slope top feature. Add a point on the segment and set the X value to 565mm. After that select the left point and set the Y value to minus 328mm and apply. You see the slope that will be created. Click on OK to confirm. Close the cabinet, select Save modifications in the model and click OK. You can see the result in a project. Let's look at the finished result in the 3D window. The 3D shows a perfect fit of these cabinets in the room. Thanks for watching this video.